Hi, sweet friends, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my subbies. And today I have a shaker card to share with you for Shaker Sunday. This is hosted by Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. And she has this as an open collaboration every Sunday. You can jump in and out as you're comfortable doing so. Anything with the shaker element will qualify. So you can use a shaker card, shaker tag, maybe even a standalone shaker like the one that I did with this little snowflakes. And these are pieces of paper that I die cut. So they just pop around in there as you shake it around. I just love how that turned out. This week I have a card that I used with my beautiful little sequins. I have a couple of these containers from a department store and all of these are from Dollar Tree in these little glass jars and I separate them by colors except for the ones that are a little bit mixed. I do let my granddaughter play with my things so some of them don't always go back just perfect and that's okay. That's what family and love are all about. So my friends, these these are some of the sequins that I used and I like to reach for this one over a sequin mix because for this particular card I needed like one green, one pink, one blue and it was easier to reach from a solid container. So these are really great to have in my stash. Here's the card. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this and I will link to my Instagram in the description box as well. And if you hit follow, I will definitely follow you back over there. And this is how it turned out super cute so I try to match all of these little stripes so each one of these sequins has a little friend over here each one has a coordinating color and it just reminds me of the twinkling Christmas lights I just I don't know there's something about all of these colors together it reminds me of when you turn all the lights off and you're looking at the Christmas tree and you see it all twinkling with those colors that's what this one reminded me of it does say thank you I use the thank you die Thanks die from Simon Says Stamp, and I love this one. I don't use it as often as I should, but it is fantastic. It does say thanks. Of course, you got to read it like this. Hey, there's my initials right there. Hey, hey. <laughs> but what I love about this is that you can use it so many different ways. This is a great accent. So if you're going to get a thank you die, this is a good one to pick up. So how many different ways you could use this? This is some of the little leftover pieces from these two. What I decided to do is take the pink one, run it through the die cutting machine. In doing so, you get the outer border, the tiny little inside border, and then the actual letter. So that's three different ones and three different ways to use it. So it goes like this. You've got the outer border and then you've got the actual letters. So it looks just like this. So if I want to do the opposite to this one and use the green and the pink, and then this one has the pink with the green, all you got to do, just do it something like that. And these are also great for a standalone. Say you don't want the outside border, you can just use the letters. So just like that, really, really cute. Okay, can't even spell, it's upside down. <laughs> you get the idea, it looks just like that. Love, love this, so many different ways to use it. So even though I only used the inside border and the outside border of this one, I have all these leftover pieces. Now when I put the die back away, I'll keep all of these with it. So if I needed to use it again, there'll always be some ready to go. And that is my card, here's the inside. Super simple, where I'm gonna write a little message. I just kept that theme going through. This was a leftover from cutting off this little border here. Sign the back of it, and that is my shaker for this week. Again, super easy to make. After Christmas, we're gonna be sending a lot of thank you cards, so it's a great time to get started on some of those shaker cards for saying thanks so much. That is gonna be it for this one, my friends. Be sure to follow that hashtag, Shaker Sunday. See what everyone has created today, and uh, it's a lot of fun to pop around YouTube and see what all of the super fun crafting items are. That's going to be it for this one. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like my content, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.